Hey, this is Shell with Reality Check TV Sacramento. There's all kinds of shit going on here. We're at Toots Tavern. It's September 26th. Who's playing tonight? Cynical, A King Must Die, A Toy Called God, and Cultural Warfare. You guys, there's still time. I know you're not going to hear this interview, but you know what? Look us up on YouTube for this video. It's going to be fucking great. And if you're here in the crowd, awesome. Hi, this is Shell with Reality Check TV Sacramento. We're here with Cultural Warfare. We're at Toots Tavern. It's it's September 26th. People, it's a good show, and you're going to see it. So we're with Pascal, right? Did I say it right? Yeah, Pascal for Cultural Warfare. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm the vocalist in this band. Not really a singer, but we can just say vocals, you know, up front. All and right. There's, and there's are the, you man. the man. Yeah, I'm the vocalist front right. guy. Okay. Jorman just like stood right there, so this is awesome. want to be here, and we got Billy here. Billy, Billy, what do you do here with the show? I play guitar. You play guitar. Well, like what kind of guitar? Lead hey, guitar. You know Actually, lead and rhythm guitar. Yeah. So I, I pull double duty with the one man band. One man band. Well, my own. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, can we fit in here? Can we? Here, Come on. Come this way. Can we get? Okay, we're going. Which way are we going? You want to sit over here? Because we need to be in here, Kevin. Oh, yeah. We're all cozy. It's all good. Yeah. Listen, don't. I gotta sit a certain way because yeah, we got a whole lot going on here. Okay, yeah, so right. the so so there. the uh, manager of your band. Can you tell me her name? Kim Turner. Kim Turner. Okay, she gave me this lovely card, so don't lose that. I just don't want to hold. You know. So. One more time, introduce the drummer. Hi, I'm Kenny Donovan. Play drums. Cultural. Last time I saw you guys, you were at some show at the Oakland Metro, and you guys fucking rocked the stage, and, you know, but that was then, and this is now, and so, tell me, you know, tell me a little bit about the music that you're going to play tonight, you know, what, can you talk about the song that they're not going to see tonight, but they're going to see it sometime. Yeah, yeah, uh, one of the new ones we've been doing, it played a couple, past couple of shows called Side Effects that we uh, just got done writing, and, and we, we're, right now we're in the writing process, but uh, we just got done writing. Uh, side effects, and we're doing a couple of our old stuff, and we were able to do um, something a little different, you know, just kind of change up the lineup for the evening. Yeah, so so as far as, you know, when you talk about the writing process, can you, like, kind of walk me through that, you know, as far as, you know, the drummer, the guitar player, the vocals, how, who, who, how do you guys do it? Like, what do you do? You know, you have a moment, who, somebody's house, the studio, how's it work? Actually, actually, what we do, we have this thing we call uh, shooting hoops, and what we do is... Uh, just go into the studio. We got the uh, we get we get our everyone everyone's in there. Terry's Terry, including our bass player. And we just start playing. We actually start playing. We record it and we go back and then we listen to it and then okay, we kind of so hammer like, around. Just like just bringing go for it. Yeah, we just and go then for it. And from what you from, see. Yeah, yeah. Usually we can pull out. Usually it's kind of weird because we used to didn't have a way to record that's it. Some reality TV, you know what I mean? That's yeah. like some reality cultural warfare, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, we kind of just more more or less do it on the fly, go back and hammer it out. Before before we had a di the older songs, we had a different writing process, oh, okay. but now that we have Kenny Donovan in our band, we have a newer writing process where it's just, And that's okay, because you, know, you know what, you're you're still you're taking the elements for the past and you're okay, taking it to a next level. Okay. And I think that's for the bands that sustain themselves over time. Okay, you, know? you, you you start evolving, you know, that's, that's, that's all really it's about. It's it's you, you you bring you bring a child to band into uh, into the world and you just have it watch it grow and have it evolve you know. Now with the bands that are playing tonight, are are these bands that you've played with before? Uh yeah, we played uh, other than um, uh, Cynical. We haven't never played with Cynical, but we the played. from L.A. Yeah, yeah. Cynical, have you? Yeah, at the uh, Hanamania. Oh, yeah, Cynical! Yeah. Cynical was at Hanamania. Okay. So we filmed at Hanamania, but you know what? <laughs> were they in the little room, big room? I don't know, but you know what? Yeah, we were in the little room. We were in the little room that you night. Guys yeah. Rock that room that night. No, I was there, and you know, I did not have a corset on that night. Okay, and I had the right kind of shoes, man. It was some serious shit. I mean, I wanted you guys to be in the big room, but then your fans, we needed to be in that sweaty fucking small oh, yeah, the, room. It's the vibe. It's that that that, that, that intimate vibe. It's yeah. awesome, you know. It's more personal. It is more personal. A lot personal, you know. So okay, so. Let's give a shout out to Leslie. Isn't she the fucking shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and she's actually one of the best like promoters that I've ran across that we've done business with. Cause <laughs> I mean, I came here with 
I didn't come here with like preconceived notions. It was just like, oh, it's just too. Yeah, we're not going to talk about past promoters. Oh, no, but let no, me no, tell no, you. No, no, no. I'm not talking, yeah, not no, talking no. down. But she, I mean, we came in here in this place and she got all set. Leslie's the shit. We never, we never good. met her before. This is the first time we ever met Leslie, and she, we came down for your guys' show. We got some people that's this coming in here. Oh, our bass player. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, hey, hey. So this is reality check, and so that's okay. So bass player. So you were, you know, having a safety meeting out in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, having a safety meeting. Okay. <laughs> Introduce yourself for the for the, for the show up. Uh, Terry, I'm the bass player for Cultural Warfare. Hell yeah, Terry. We were just talking about how you guys fucking killed and rocked it at the Hannah Mania, you know. That was so awesome, you know, in that room with, um, shit, all the artwork were back there. I was worried about the fucking artwork that was in the back table that was going to get knocked over that yeah, night, that, you know. Yeah, that Patrick's an awesome artist. He's got a lot of nice stuff, yeah. Is. So, is that, uh, did they start? They, oh, shit, so... So you know what? We should be filming their first song because that's what we pride ourselves in, but fucking cultural warfare. You know, we're just gonna blame it on the fucking bass player, okay? Right. You know, that's all. Even though we would still been doing the interview, it's still his fault, right? So this is Shell with Reality Check TV Sacramento, and this is cultural warfare. And oh wait, 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 before we leave, can somebody tell us how we find you on the freaking can you put up your digits? There? Reverb, Reverb Nation and Facebook right now. We're trying to get uh, a little other things going on, but right now just on Reverb Nation. And do you Facebook. guys write back your fans? Are you like on hand? You don't have somebody. Uh, always? We are always in contact. You can, you can actually you can just find do you guys us. Do you do the Instagram thing? Uh, no, we're trying to learn all that okay, stuff. We're trying yeah. to get into the Okay, listen, century listen. Here. Let's take a selfie tonight, okay. all of us. Okay, I'll put you on. My son's a hip hopper. And he's got 30,000 people following him, Dylan Phillip. We'll get you. We'll put you on his thread. Right. And, and, you know, like cultural warfare, we'll cross over with the show. Show, 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 the, show the, the, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah Leave us in the way. Leave us to the light, okay? Okay, we'll see you here. This is Shell with Reality Check TV Sacramento. Hey, we'd like to thank all you guys for showing up. We are Cultural Warfare. This is PTSD. Oh, 
Show with Reality Check TV Sacramento. We're here at Toots Tavern. It's September, uh, what, 26th? Yeah, it's a Friday. We're here with Toy Call God. We have Josh, we have Patrick, and we have Tyson. Okay? That is Toy Call God. Right? Mostly. You know, for now. Minus the bass player, Dustin. But the bass player, Dustin? Yeah. Is he in the bathroom? Uh, he's currently en route to the venue. Let's come up with a better story. Okay, then he's. he's Oh, yeah, he's taking a shit. Constipated. It. Yes. It's okay. It happens. All right? All right. So, Josh, did we, I mean, were you in the band a couple years ago when I, you know, saw you guys at X-Fest? No, I've only been in the band for about five okay. months. You know what? Good. Because I didn't remember you. And, I, you know, I don't remember anybody, but I really didn't remember you. And I was tripping. I'm like, really? I think I would have remembered you. Okay, so you're new. Can you tell mm -hmm. me how you, did you, how did you apply for this Toy Call God venture? Uh, this guy was scouting for me in my, one of He's my totally shows. He's totally a scout. Let's, you know what? He's, did he stalk you? Sort of. Kind of? Okay, go on. Carry on. So he saw one of my shows where I played at, and he liked me, and I tried out, and here I am. Here you are. Okay. Well, oh, grueling process, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> He'll block you on social media. Don't fuck up, okay? All right, so Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, what I want to talk about is you... First of all, you really impressed me the first time I even de de dealt with you because of social media. Okay, you are fantastic at what you do. And I'm going to pass you the mic, and I want you to speak to the new people out there that don't really appreciate the power of social media and how, you know, and, and also you can speak to the fucktards as well, you know, that there are rules. It, it's pretty simple, man. If, if, you're, if you're trying to get a message out there, there are so many social platforms that you can take advantage of. Um, you don't need a label. You don't need a big marketing company. You don't need anything. You just need a little energy and a little time with your Mac, and you're good to go. Um, nothing is handed to you in this business. If you want anything, you've got to fucking work for it. And the only way that that shit goes down is if you put in time. And you have to do that across every platform, channel, or angle that you can. And if you're a douche canoe or a fucktard or a cocksocket or whatever, and you're too lazy to handle your own work, then you're your own reason you fail. That pretty much sums it up, right? It does. So, okay. Seriously, we need to, like, you know, take some time, Patrick, at some point when you're bored and you have a free moment, and write down your cliches because cocksocket is the word of the night, okay? Hashtag cocksocket, okay? And hopefully you'll find Patrick's face. I don't know. So let's talk to the guy down at the end, you know, Tyson. Tyson, what's your, what's your process with this band? Can you tell me, give me some insight on the making of one of the songs, and you can pick whatever song you want to speak of. Wow, that was good. Good question there. Um, my involvement in the band, correct? How how am I involved in the band? I was actually um, along with Patrick, one of the founding members of uh, Toy Called God, one of the original members of Toy Called God, along with Dustin, which is not here because he's constipated yeah, and and currently taking a shit in the bathroom. So um, uh, there there's a long story um, about how we got formed that involves a UPS driver. Uh, you would think that the singer knows how to sing, uh, hold a fucking mic. Well, D no. Well, we know you like to hold yes. it like a penis. <sighs> there you go. Now, now, what the fuck am I supposed to do with the mic? Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to um, um, the comedy show brought to you by Reality Check TV. Um, <laughs> we're a toy called God. Anyway, we uh, we were formed actually by a UPS driver that uh, came to the house and wanted to jam with my kid brother. Um, and it all just kind of snowballed. 
uh, from there. Thanks, obviously, to Patrick Donovan, who hits uh, the social media fucking super hard. That's what we really have to do nowadays to, to gain the fans, bring them to shows, and, and play a good show for them. Let them know what we're about, why we call ourselves Toy Call God, and, and what we stand for, you know, as, as, as people, as brothers up on stage, you know. We, we make art to, to give to you guys as a gift as, uh, for saying thank you. You know, thank you for listening. Thank you for, for taking the, t the time to appreciate, you know, our music and our art. So, um, first of all, I just wanted to get that out and say thank you um, to all of our fans out there. Everybody who listens, picks up a CD, anything. That doesn't even go for us only. Every band that's here tonight, every band that uh, is supported by this uh, TV uh, station, it's, it's fucking incredible. Um, uh, how, mu how, much, uh, how many talented people are out there um, making local music and... and and it's just amazing to see uh, everybody get together and, and enjoy some local music and people uh, like Reality Check TV uh, supporting that. So one of my favorite songs, you want me to talk about that? So I think one of my favorite songs has to be Down right now. I think uh, Mike Slope did and his crew did an absolute amazing job uh, with that music video. That song was actually written by Patrick Donovan years, years ago. Um, I didn't actually have any involvement in the writing um, of the song at all. All I did was just perform it. Um, as best as I can um, for Patrick Donovan and for the band. Uh, Mike so took, took a, huge, um, a huge song for us and me personally in life and just made it something, um, something just, just, uh, just amazing in, in my eyes. So everything in that, in that music video I've went through personally and Patrick's went through personally. That's why we make music is, is to, to get other people to relate with, uh, relate with us. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're a team you know, against something else. Um, and, and we stand as brothers on stage, on and off stage, um, and, and we support the name and everything full, full, full heartedly. Um, along with uh, lots, of, uh, lots of shit talking and, and lots, of, um, lots of picking on each other. But um, thank you. Good. You know what? I honestly, no, no, seriously, I feel like I had a moment with you and um, you know what? That was my husband filming, okay? But that has nothing to do with the moment we just had, okay? The girlfriends had many moments with you because I've heard Kevin's stories as well. You're fantastic, okay? I appreciate knowing that you guys, even though you didn't have direct involvement with the writing of that song you were speaking of, you felt you carried it on. Patrick, what I want to talk about is what's your pregame, okay? I saw you haul it in, but do you cry in the mirror before a performance or do you... Do you what do you do? Well, I don't know what you do, but I want to know what you do right before you go on. Well, first, the mic, let me answer that. <laughs> first, first, I make sure Tyson tucks his penis. Okay, okay, Tyson, okay. <laughs> and then... It's, a, it's not that big. It doesn't take a lot to, to tuck it, so it's very and, easy. And then once we're past all that silliness, I say, like, a few words to myself, to my older brother who's gone, to my grandmother who's gone. Yeah. I say uh, a quick what's up to the guys in the band, and then we just go out there and do our thing. There's no real thing that happens until it happens, and then it's just what it is. You guys play a lot of different venues, and you play the underground. You know, as far as we love the underground, what's the next, you know, is if you could, this is my last little question because we got to wrap it up. There's another band coming on, right? Who's playing next? Is it, is it Cultural Warfare? King Musta, I fucking love them, okay? And haven't seen them in a long time, so... Is there a band out there that you'd like to call to? You know, we'll, we'll, you know, we don't know them, maybe, but, you know, maybe we could dot com them or something. Who, who could you play with in, you know, in the future? 2015, we're speaking of. Dream Tour. They're, they're so Just name one. Just, you know, I know there's 20. Why not? Throwdown and Hate Breed. Both of those um, bands, personally for me, um, I'll answer this question just for myself. Both of those bands um, are amazing individuals. Um, if they ever hear this, you guys are fucking awesome. I believe in what you guys do, and I would love the opportunity to play with you guys. All right, so he didn't dream too big, right? Not that I, I didn't hear what he said, but you know what? Whatever he just said, come on. Toy called God, all right? Facebook.com, Reverb Nation, Bay to Bay. Pandora, Spotify. Spotify, that's new, right? What's this new Zello? Bull? No, not Zello. What's the? Hello. You know what? Okay, Hello. Slipping on my on my social shit. I gotta find out what that one is. All right. That's our next task, okay? We're going to check out L.O. Fubar. Fubar? Yeah. Really? Is that like oxygen or something? No, I have no idea. It's better. You'll have fun. Oh, 
we're already on FUBAR. We're all over FUBAR, okay? Okay. All right, this is Shell with Reality Check TV Sacramento. We're with Totally Call God. We're here at Toots Tavern. That's it. There might have been some TNC involved in that conversation. One big round of applause for every fucking band. I'm not going to say their names because you all know what the fuck they are because you're here to see them. These guys put blood, sweat, and tears into this shit every fucking day of their life. You guys have no idea how much blood, sweat, and tears goes into this. Thank you guys for letting us share the stage with you and share our music with you. We're a toy called God from Rowley, California. This song is called Skin Coat. Shell with Rally Check TV Sacramento. We're here at Toots Tavern. We got Adam here. Adam, so what's the deal, dude? Who are you hanging with? Who are these people over here? Why don't you uh, introduce the band? Well, the band is Soulless Demise. Right here is Cal. He's the lead guitarist and Monica, the drummer. And uh, I'm actually the newest member of Soulless Demise. Know, that's why I wanted you to introduce them. Yeah, well. How'd you get in? How did you get in? Well, um, I used to be in another band called Damn It and uh, uh, I was uh, let go from that band uh, a couple months ago, but I also learned at the same time that they were looking for a singer for their band. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think this is a much better fit. It's about, like, it's not, you know, a lot of it's, like, dynamic, you know, like, what, what kind of things a uh, band in a It's all about timing, and it's all about, you know, how you gel and blend with the group. Exactly. So. That, that's what, yeah, like, the, the dynamic, you know. So, Soul Semise, I've never actually seen them live. I've heard them on... I, I, I met them. I've seen them in the news feed, but I have not. I've had parking lot. We've had safety meetings, yeah, you know, <laughs> but I haven't seen you guys live. So this is kind of cool. I'm like interviewing the band at another fan thing before I heard you. So, so Cal, tell me, 
what's is there anything you can speak to? Not nothing next week, but maybe like in 2015, or is that is there anything pushed out, or have we got something current uh, in like December, November? Because it's not going to be up for a couple November weeks. 21st. November, we could totally highlight November. Yeah, we have November 21st at the huddle. Ooh, so I don't know it's about venues. Fremont. Okay, so the huddle it's in a, Fremont. Yeah, it's a little that, small hole in the wall ball. Yeah, but that's cool. It's yeah. underground. Is that the yeah. underground yeah. place to go in Fremont? I guess it's it, a hole in the wall bar. I love fucking yeah. hole in the wall. It's gonna get packed because it's yeah. pretty small. That's what it's I love. Small stage break. ever that we've ever played on. Yeah. Is that it's the smallest break. stage you said? It's yeah. a very small stage. It's a corner stage. Smaller so, than this. So tell me about that. And this stage is actually okay. I mean, we have small in Sacramento. How do you adjust? Okay, who wants to speak to this question? How do you adjust from being like, let's say, like you know, you're at the Oakland Metro, and then all of a sudden you're in the back doors somewhere. But you're still a rock star, so, you know. I have the same amount of space no matter where we play, so. So what about you? How do you adjust? It was it's a, okay. it's it's a huge adjustment. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you bump into stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the blooper reel, you know. The blooper reel. <laughs> you bump into stuff, you just deal with it. What do you do? What do you do? So you as being a front man, you know, this is an established man. How do they... Are they, are they treating you okay? I mean, they putting you through hazing? I don't know what they do. Actually, actually, I, I feel very welcome in this band. You do? Okay. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback about, like, how, how my sound changes the sound of the whole band in general. Well, that kind of tends to happen with the singer, right? But, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. They're treating you good. Nope. Nothing bad, huh? No. Oh, you guys are just a bunch of sweetie huggle bears. See, here's the deal. I, I follow her on Facebook, and so she's like a snuggle bear and the whole love, love, love. So I can't wait to see her rage the fucking machine right here with the, you know, out there. So November, huh? November 21st at the huddle in Fremont. Uh, we're trying to get them to Sacramento. We want them in Sacramento. We want to invade Sacramento. We do. You know what? So we're going to do it in baby steps. We're going to check them out on YouTube, Reverb Nation. What yeah. else? Instagram. Um, we're not on Instagram, are we? No, we're just yeah. getting our website up. We got one picture on Instagram. <laughs> but we're there. I do it, but I'm not. No, you know, it is what it is. All right, this is Solus Demise. We're here at the um, Toots Tavern, September 26th, just hanging out with these bands here, playing with Leslie.